Hey there, it's Brian, and I'm here to admit to you that I am a Minecraft newbie. That's right, I have never played Minecraft. I've seen a lot of Minecraft played, and I thought I'd never be into it, to be honest. I, I just thought it was just really strange. And uh, with the uh, the success of LEGO Worlds already being a huge success on uh, Steam, and after the update, of course, which fixed a lot of problems, it looks really good, and uh, Minecraft looks pretty awesome and you know the thing the thing is I I never thought I would like any of it until I played this game um, on the Ouya which is weird and and this game is nothing compared to Minecraft honestly and uh, once I realized uh, I'm having fun playing this game I'm like I'm gonna have to go check out Minecraft now maybe even check out Lego World while I'm at it because just creating this stuff is, is a lot of fun you know and it does look crude and uh, that's part of the beauty of the game. So let's go ahead and check out Discovery, the game that started my interest in Minecraft. Okay, let's just go to single player. Let's go ahead and check out the options. You know what? Let's just go to the single player. Now there I was from creating Booyah Land. So that's interesting. Let's go to... Just this random one here. Let's create a new one. So this game has animals in it, which is pretty cool. And updates are coming. So the developer says updates are coming even to the Ouya version, so anyone that wants to play this, this, this game is on a lot of different platforms. If you want to check out Discovery, it's a little different than Minecraft. It's a little bit more about the creation than the actual gameplay. You know, there's not much gameplay involved here. Let's just play it like this. Right. Uh oh. Okay, so it's loading in there. Oh, those bunnies were about to fall into nothingness. So, you know, you got a bunch of bunnies here, and this is a random world. This is a world that just is randomly generated. You can start from scratch or start from one of these randomly generated worlds with lots of different options like uh, the grass, you can have that all be snow instead and stuff like that. And that starts out the, uh, the world like that if you want. So right now I'm just walking around and checking out the graphics. Uh, you know, they look pretty good. Considering, uh, you know, it's a Minecraft ripoff, I mean, <laughs> to be honest. But, again, it's still well done. There's a goat. I don't think there's anything I can really do to the goat. Okay. So there's that. Let's actually... Let's see. There's the um, materials you can use. And there are... There's, there are several pages. There's, there's a lot of different things you can use. And there's actually corners on this game as well. So if you wanted to put a corner on something, like say right here, you can, you can do that. So here's how you dig. And that's the, the R bumper on the OEM controller, or the uh, 360 controller, if you're using that, it works with that. And to build, it's the other bumper, so you're, you're pushing the L bumper now to build stuff up. So you just point at it, build, it's just very similar to Minecraft. You can jump, um, you can also uh, you can fly, so you can, you can really check things out from any perspective. Get the bird's eye view here of the beautiful little animals and, and the mountains disappearing in the distance. Let's go up here and just build something right on top of this mountain. Okay, we're up here. And I'm going to stop flying now. And use the D-pad to select what's down here. You can preset these with the menu that I showed a minute ago so let's this is how you make trees this is water obviously let's just keep it on this brick here and just start and you can actually just build a crazy tower you, you can get on top of this thing let's fly up here okay now I'm not flying but I'm going to just create myself straight up into the air and then I'll turn on the fly button again and you can see what you've done. So you can do a lot of different things. 
And uh, if you're a Minecraft person and you've got an Ouya or something, this game is only a couple bucks. So with all the updates coming, the, the couple dollars is definitely worth it. And um, it's supposed to get multiplayer soon, so that will definitely make things more interesting when you can go visit other people's worlds, see what they've created on their Ouyas and their iPhones and their Android devices. Because this thing is, again, on a lot of different platforms. So yeah, that was just my little story of what made me interested in Minecraft all of a sudden, out of nowhere, and that would be this game here, Discovery, on many different platforms. And I'm playing it here on the Ouya, so. Okay, well thanks for watching the video, and um, if you like Minecraft, uh, you stay tuned for a little treat at the end. Goodbye, everyone in the YouTube world. Have a nice day.